Welcome you lot to AS Fishing TV. We're in Tack Room again today and I, I've done a video before about different kind of connectors that I use and I spoke in there about Dacrons. Now I use my own Dacrons to make them myself and um, just so they are no more than five millimeters long. Um, I use the Camotex semi-stiff uh, braid from the Cart Boys uh, Fox which is great and also um, some kind of bead so in this case it's the matrix um, side puller beads that i use um plus you get this really really cool um needle that comes with it little diamond eye threader which is absolutely brilliant bit of kit and other things i need a pair of scissors okay important nice and sharp um and i use these loop tires okay these are the two census loop tires you get in a pack from um most good tackle shops okay and um, sometimes they, they sort of come like that so it's two in two in one kind of thing um but i use these two and it's the smaller one so there they are it's the smaller one that i want to use today so also i've got my top kit ready so i've got my old uh, i need to just take the slightly end of the elastic off it's just started to fray slightly uh, at the very very end just because it's been stored for a while so time to change it and i want to do a, a new connector on there as well so all i need to do is take my a good length of my uh, my coated braid, and I want to make sure I have you know a good a good tag on the end of what I'm doing. All I need to do, okay, if you're not used to these these tires, is I make a loop with my finger, and it goes round. All I got to do is turn it around once and push it through, okay, just like that. And then when I start to pull it all together, I'm just going to wet it. It gives me a nice small five mil loop, okay? Like that, with this nice big tag end. And it means I can pull it all tight. All right, and take that off. And what I'm left with is a really nice loop. It's nice and tidy. There you go, with this nice long tag end. So all I need to do then is cut it off near the no, they're not, not too close. So, I end up nice and simple with a nice tidy loop. Okay, try and get that in focus. Nice tidy loop with a knot on the end and a nice big tag end. So that's the first bit, okay, nice and simple. It's just a, a five millimeter knot, um, which is perfect. So that'll form the Dacron. So next it's over to the elasticated top section. Now it's important here, if you run your finger down, if you stretch it out and run your finger down, you can see if it's rough. So in this case, I don't need to cut too much back, but you can see where it's started to fray. And I can take that bit off. Okay, put my old connector to one side, because I can use the bead again, so that's important. And I've got nice, neat, what, what you would say is new elastic on the end there. Absolutely brilliant. So it's really, really simple now. So again, you've seen this on the elasticating top kit video. Elastic goes through the loop, which will become the Dacron. Okay. And all I'm going to do then is an, an overhand loop or like a figure of eight one. Nice and simple. Okay. Just like so. And I wet it. It's important that you always wet the knot and I just pull it tight. Okay, now personal preference, I like to do that twice. Simple as that. And the same again, I'll give it a nice wet. Okay, and again, I pull it down nice and tight. So that's what we're left with, attached nice and straightforward. So then I can take this tag end off. I don't cut it too far back. Okay. That's it. Okay, perfect. So I'm just ending with that there, like that. Now that will actually disappear now, but I'll keep hold of that. So all I'll do then is I'll take one of my beads, one of my matrix beads. Okay, now it's important we go in and go on with the thin end onto the needle first. There's a thin end and a fat end. 
So it's the thin end of the bead on first. Okay. Thin end of the bead on first, just like that. And we take the tag end, put it through the diamond high threader, and then we can push using the diamond high threader the bead onto the tag end. Okay, nice and straightforward. So all I've got now is the tag ends. You can see there, tag end, the bead, and then attach the elastic. So just give it a good wet. We're just going to pull the knot through the bead. This is why you've got a good tag end on it, because it can be a bit fiddly. Three, it pops. Okay, just like so. And that sits over the knot. And we've got a nice short backer on. And we cut the tag end off. Okay, again, a little bit fiddly, but that's fine. Make sure it's all positioned correctly. And there it is. Okay, nice and simple, nice and straightforward. Nice, short, Dacron. Simple as that. Okay, so that's how I do my homemade Dacrons. This has been AS Fishing TV. Don't forget, subscribe, drop a like. It really, really helps us out on the channel. And I look forward to seeing you on the bank very soon.